Hey, hi there Capricorn. Welcome to my monthly predictive reading for March 2020 for your money and finance. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable and please only take those portions that resonate with you. Okay Capricorn, off camera to save time, I've performed a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. We will be using a card from the Oracle deck, Ask Your Guides by Sonia Choquette. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the basis of the matter. This is the situation. This is really good, Capricorn. The Ten of Cups. Water energy. It's the pinnacle of happiness. It's happiness that, because you know that your family loves each other. This is where the saying comes. The pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. It's a realization of what matters. It's counting your blessings. It's a happy ending. It's feeling the bliss. It's being serene and blissful and emotionally fulfilled and liberated. You can be loving unconditionally and appreciating abundance, living your dreams, enjoying family. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. This could be an obstacle to your forward progress. Number 15 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Devil. This card can be a Capricorn, you Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mercury, Saturn. This can be limitations. It can be bondage and temptation. You could be chained by wrong choices that would bring discontent and depression and illness. It's bondage to the material and sensation divorced from understanding. Having to face up to your demons or being chained by greed. It's a challenge of repression and of illusions. It could be an oppressive situation that's controlling you or the situation around you. It brings illusions of helplessness. It can refer to a person with power over another. Overdoing something too much. Something that tempts you that you really like, so that's why you overdo it. It's a pleasure-seeking couple. This can be being codependent, or ashamed, or jealous, or shackled by ignorance, could be chained to the need for approval, or that feeling of the need to control others. It's serving what enslaves you. You'll need to place boundaries against users and takers. You may be experiencing restrictions, or acting in ways that impede your growth. The Ten of Cups with a Devil card can represent peer pressure, um, sometimes possible embezzlement, could be something that stands between you and happiness. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you are consciously aware of. The Three of Pentacles, Capricorn, Earth Energy, a card of employment. This is a card of using your skills with teamwork, support from teamwork. There's synergy here. This is someone's Mars in Capricorn. This is people that are coming together to make something happen. It's a lucky omen. It's a lucky card for a project. A foundation is being set, and it's the early stages of progress. This is a partnership card. You're building something together with teamwork, assistance, contribution, and guidance. Could be clients or customers. It's planning involved. There's mentors and critics. It's okay to take critics as teachers. They really are helping you grow. And criticism helps you grow. Priorities are being established and plans are being put into action. There's initial successes. It's being cooperative and inspired by a skilled team effort. You're discussing those plans and you're building a foundation. And there's a quality of workmanship here. It's using high standards, even asking for opinions. This can be a plan that's coming together. It's skilled labor, and there will be a payback period, and you'll get to reap the rewards. The Ten of Cups with the Three of Pentacles is loving your work and the people that work there with you. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results. Number four of wands, this is fire energy. It's a celebration. It's uh, a celebration. It's um, reaching a milestone. This is can be a marriage card. 
It's the completion of a stage with results. It's harvest and home, taking time to pause and relax. This is an extremely positive card. You'll get to enjoy life and reap rewards. This is a pause in activities and you'll get to rest. Could be a holiday coming. You'll get to relax. This is a foundation for creativity and it heralds prosperity, arrival, and rejoicing. It's taken a relationship to a new level. It's a reward for a breakthrough, a level that is finished. This is marking a life transition with ceremony or ritual. can also represent property and land and a strong community. Also a run of luck. The Ten of Cups with the Four of Wands is a happy community and family celebrations. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. It's unseen is because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this. The Seven of, seven of Pentacles, Capricorn, Earth Energy. This is taking a break. It's assessment and patience. It's a pause during development. You're stepping back and looking at what you've already accomplished. This could be anxiety about a loan, and you're still waiting for success. It's been something that you've been working on for a while. You have an investment here. And you're not failing, but you are learning. Some readjustment may be needed. This is a timeout card, and it's an investment that pay off in the future. This uh, warns not to stop for long because all those past efforts will only come to fruition through consistent effort. You're wondering if this will work and what will you get out of it and you're planning your next move. Ten of Cups with the Seven of Pentacles is a happy culmination that you've been waiting for. The Devil with the Three of Pentacles is wanting to build with a common goal. This can be a construction manager, an architect. It can also be a third party involved, and in some cases, a love triangle. The Four of Wands with the Devil card is a deep bond, a connection with the land. There's intense feelings here, an obsessive need for security or balance. You could be obsessing over joy. The devil with the seven pentacles is waiting to see what happens until something better comes along. It's frustration and dissatisfaction. It can also represent the farming industry. The three of pentacles with the four of wands is you feeling at home. You may need to go out more often. And socializing, socializing with others makes you feel happy. The three of pentacles with the seven of wands is working on plans and then taking a break to reevaluate. The four of wands with the seven of pentacles... There is a distance to overcome in your professional life. You're celebrating and persevering. It has to do with home and diligence. This can be gardening. Uh, it could be a community garden or a farm. Here's your advice from the Oracle deck. Ask your guides by Sonia Choquette. Decisions, card number 32, from your higher self. Decisions. Confusion, quandary, ambivalence, and juggling. You're faced with many choices and aren't sure what to do. Leave or stay in a job, terminate or recommit to a relationship, stop or continue a creative project, go to work or stay at home with the kids. Life is an endless stream of choices, and doing what is best is never a simple thing. Fortunately, your higher self can help you resolve these difficult decisions, especially if you're willing to let some of the balls you juggle drop to the wayside for now. The key to making the best choices is to simply follow your heart and to attend only to what you care about right now. Focus on priorities that feed your spirit and don't become overwhelmed by the demands and expectations of others. Ask your higher self to help you discern and trust in what requires your attention right now and be willing to disappoint people. Your higher self assures you that what falls to the wayside isn't important in the long run, despite the drama of the moment. The message for you is... Don't try to be all things to all people. It's a waste of time, and you'll surely fail. Thanks, you guys, Capricorn. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love 
and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.